I am back today to replace those two UC8 boards. So got those delivered. We'll get them. We'll get them in. Um, and we're also going to, I think, essentially recommission this. Uh, so according to Temper Zone, regardless of whether it's in heating or cooling, the head temp should be. It's trying to maintain a 38 degree head temp. Um, I think they were saying something like it should have a, a 15k delta T. Um, so return air uh, versus supply air. Uh, which this one didn't, it, when we were working on it, uh, it had like, I think it was like a 50 degree, so they reckon that um, we can go in and basically recommission it, so uh, apparently I need their help to do that, they said I just need to call them because you've got to go in and program the board and um, or do some changes in the boards, uh, which without their help might be a little difficult, so I'll, uh, yeah, run you through that. Sometimes I don't think I film myself doing this enough, but I always make sure that we've got no power. And even though I know we've got no power, so even though I'll just test incoming there, probably makes more sense, all right? I still just isolate that because you can really never be too safe, eh? And I've also got, obviously got the isolator switch that's over there. You really just can never be too safe with this shit. So that is the first board in. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the second board. I won't film that one. Um, it's basically exactly the same process. Um, something I obviously can't show on camera as well is when I am changing boards, no matter how many times I've done it, I will always take photos, man. It's just, yeah, it, it has happened before where, you know, you, you put something in a, you know, a number of times and then for whatever reason, your brain's just like, nope, not remembering that information today. Uh, so yeah, just always take photos, which I did and then have referenced as well. Both boards are now in, so I've flicked the circuit breaker on. Um, I'll flick this one on as well. Still dead at the isolator at the moment, but yeah, we can get this thing up and running now. So we have power now. Um, boards are just waiting, because according to the BMS system, it doesn't need to be running, which is good, because I want to test a few things first. Um, can hear the fan motor, uh, indoor fan blower, blower, what the fuck? Uh, indoor fan motor running. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go through now and just make sure um, everything looks good before we turn off the BMS and make sure it runs. I'm just gonna go through and hit this uh, button down here just to make sure that, you know, the readings from the board look okay. So we'll go through. Oops, I'm trying to get a better position. Yep. About temperature, 17. Suction line temp. 17, superheat, zero, discharge line pressure, yep, yep, yep.
Beautiful, so that's all looking good. I'm just gonna do the second one as well. Basically, all I'm looking for is just to make sure this thing hasn't been running for, you know, half an hour or whatever, and stage one hasn't been running for ages. So all those semester readings should be reading the same, or, you know, within a couple of degrees of each other, and they all obviously all are. This one might be a little bit different, but again, it should be pretty uniform across the board. But yeah, I'm just gonna flick through that one and, and make sure. And that's pretty much reading uh, very similar. So happy with both of those. We'll go through now and I'll log on to the BMS system so I can uh, bump this temp up <clears throat> and that way we can make sure that these outdoor fans ramp up as they should in heating uh, and then I might go from there and call temper zone so we can start playing around with the programming of these boards to get that uh, delta T down. Okay so both my stages have just turned on now um, so again this fan should slowly ramp up they haven't started yet, but <clears throat> they should slowly ramp up to 100% or 10 volts. So, check out my multimeter. Go to volts DC. So this is our stage one board here. Ah, get in there. Okay, so currently it's got nothing, but those fans should turn on in a minute. Okay, here we go. So again, this should slowly ramp up to 10 to 10 volts DC. So that's 100% now. Check stage two or board two. We'll just do it up the board here because the other fan boards behind there. There we go. All right, beautiful. So they're both now running up to 100%. That's exactly what we want to see. Awesome. Man, those clouds <laughs> don't look great. Um, we might have to rush on this one to try to get that, uh, try to get this thing programmed there. I don't know if I said it in the other video or if I've said it already in this video, but with the UC8 board, so the UC6, the UC8, they will use that zero to 10 signal for the fans. Um, and in heating mode, temper zones say that these fans should be running 100%, so 10 volts. Um, when it's in cooling mode, so you've got your condenser, or this, these fans are controlling your condenser temp, then it's trying to modulate to control, I think it's a 38 degree um, condensing temp. Um, but yeah, in, in, in heating mode, so your evaporator's outside, or these fans are you controlling your evaporator, they should be running it 100%. Okay, scrap everything I just said about going into the boards and reprogramming it, because <laughs> you, so, yeah, sometimes tech support can be great, other times it just is a real pain in the ass. So I called up uh, TempoZone the last time, not about these boards, it was about something else, and they were saying that, um, because I, I was basically reading their manual and the only thing I could ever find was that it was trying to maintain a 38 degree head temp, right? Which is, it's a target. It's not gonna, it's not gonna maintain a 38 degree condensing temp on a 35 degree day. It's just not gonna do that. But when I called up and I was just like, my, my question to them was, okay, so what is it trying to maintain when it's in heating mode? So on most, or every other system I've ever seen, right? You've got your condensing temp on the outside, right? Might be, say, say let's say it is 38 degrees, right? But it's got two, massive coils to do that and two massive fans the indoor coils probably half the size of that maybe maybe even bigger than that right and it's got one fan there's no way that that thing is going to be able to maintain a 38 degree temp but anyway this particular guy said that that's what it was and i'm like okay fine so he said to call up once i had done the board changes and they'll go ahead and reprogram it anyway now i've just called up and the guy's just like no that's completely incorrect so which makes way more sense. Like I said, every other aircon system I've ever worked on, the head pressure is always higher when it's in heating mode. When the indoor coil is being used as the condenser, it's always higher. So, um, yeah, 
I'm, I'm gonna go with that because it makes way more sense to me anyway. Um, if I'm wrong, someone let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear it. Um, but yeah, as it stands, this one's done.